What up, vlog? So, okay, y'all. In today's video, we're gonna be answering some questions that y'all asked for us. It's steaming in the back. We're in the jacuzzi right now. And Ian's in the back. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're gonna get right to it. Um. Yeah. Come on. Alrighty. Okay. Right. First we question. Get right into it. What is y'all biggest goal for 2024 that y'all want to achieve together? Uh, well, I mean, my biggest goal that I want to achieve together for 2024 will be uh, making more content for you guys. Yeah. Um, more traveling. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's other things maybe but i just kind of like you know uh well mine is yeah more content for y'all you know try to hit 1k subscribers trying to you know grind more save up money you know oh yeah saving. always that save up money and um travel yeah travel at least like at least you know the goal is always once but like you know twice you know it's a travel yeah and health and do y'all plan on getting married yeah yeah we already um we're talking about that you know we want to get married and stuff but you know gotta fight not anytime soon though. gotta finance finance it you know i feel like we're still young and we still have a lot of things yeah. to accomplish before we get there only 22 but you know um right yeah, like financial stable, you know, because when you get married, you're supposed to just live in, live with each other, you know. Right. So There's a lot of things we want to like do before we get to that commitment, because that's a big commitment. We don't live with each other yet, so yeah, yeah. But yeah, we do want to get married. <laughs> okay, next question: Where do y'all see each other in five? Where do y'all see each other in five years? I see us together um, stronger and, you know, with more ambition, you know, like more things that we have on our list to accomplish, like we'll have them accomplished like by that five years. Yeah. If that made sense. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully, I, you know, I see us, uh, you know, um, still together, still happy, right. still, um, you know, hopefully we saved up enough so we could get our own place, you know. Working in a relationship as well. Cause, our know. apartment. Yeah. Get an apartment, something, you know. Y'all know California expensive. But hopefully by then, you know, we just saved up so we could be able to, you know, live together and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, you know, just be like content with each other and, um, you know, don't have to worry all the time about, oh. Yeah, we don't want to rush things stuff. and then like. You know, we're going to end up, like, asked out, you know, like, going out or traveling and stuff. Because, like, all of this is a big commitment. A lot of people just be like, okay, like, fuck it. Like, let's move in together. But they don't think about, oh, I'm sorry. They don't think about, like, the other things, you know. Like, there's, you got to pay your car. You got to pay rent. You got to pay for groceries, for gas. And those are, like, what is it? Necessities? No. Necessities. Nece whatever, you know what and I mean. And that's you. You need to learn that. She needs to learn I, that. I like to buy a lot, like, online and shit, like, clothes She and needs stuff. to learn that. But, yeah. That's what I said. I'm not ready to, like, commit all the way because when you're ready to commit, like, that means, you know, girls need to stop buying, like, makeup, clothes, shoes, and stuff. For a while, you know, I'm not saying for, like, the rest of your life. But, you know. That's a question. How is y'all relationship going? Our relationship is going amazing you know like every day we grow together every day we experience new things with each other you know we're never gonna stop learning from each other yeah we learn new things about each other like almost every day yeah you know and i'm pretty sure you guys know because there's always like a new thing that you find out about your partner yeah you know we have new goals new um Things we want to achieve, you know, you have gotta talk, communicate, and comprehend. If you can't comprehend, then you know you can't. Yeah, and listen. Yeah, I you gotta listen. listen. Yeah. 
Because some people have listen have listening problems, you know? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> All next right, question. next question. Whatever we owe. We're on question number five. Oh, 15 more. Would y'all ever get each other's name tatted? Um, maybe the initial, like. You told me you were. Oh, so you just be, <laughs> you just be talking. You just be talking then when you no, say. No, but like, I'll, get like, I would, but you know, like if you get my name first, then I'll get your name after. Like literally like after you, like I will get it like in my arm, but like, if it's not like, well, they even show you things like, right here. And if it's not like that, then like I would just do an initial, like a big D somewhere or something, like mm -hmm. with a crown or something. Yeah. I think I know tattoos yet, so I don't I know. I have one. I, have I a don't crown. know if I'm even getting uh, What? I may even get some, so. Okay, well, that means I'm not getting her name chatty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, hot. did like you guys it. ever have a toxic stage? If so, how long and how did you guys hot. get over it? Yes, we did have a toxic stage, you know, at the beginning of the relationship. Anybody that gets into a, like a newly relationship is always in a toxic stage, you know, like there's a lot of things that you don't know about the person and you just automatically like jump into a relationship and you like, no, that's not me. Like, you know, like when you're a new in a relationship, you just automatically start jumping into conclusions and things and like everything gets so toxic. But eventually that like, we work things out and we learn and you know, we're not toxic anymore. You know, it's for your good, the good of your relationship, you know, like there's no need to be toxic. Yeah. Next question. Next. What moment made you realize you were in love with each other? Um, you can go first. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Um, probably when, I don't know, we was talking and stuff. Um, and you know, this was like high school and stuff. And she like put me in her bio. I was like, oh, dang, she already put me in her bio and stuff. So, you know. Yeah, because I mean, I was like talking to him, you know, like that's like Say a no. thing saying like, hey, like I'm talking to somebody, you get me? So like, she probably, you know, not friendly and stuff. I'm not friendly. They don't have that many followers, you know, so I like that, you know. Um, I. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe that was her second page, you know? That's why she put me in the bio. What? <laughs> probably her second page. I realized when like I started talking to him and we started having like these deep conversations and stuff. He told me he doesn't bang and like he doesn't like you know do drugs and like do things like that you know like that's somebody that's like stable like you know somebody's mature i mean i'm not saying that you guys are not mature but like like you know like i don't know how to explain it but i just saw that like he doesn't do certain things you know you like that stuff though what <laughs> like that i don't know how to explain it guys but i just like knew that he was the one because like he kind of checked off all the marks that I didn't want, like, in a boyfriend, you know? Maybe, uh, like, back then I did, but, like, not no more, you know? Check one. All right, next question. What What's both of your love language? Love, love languages? I don't know what that means. I know, me either. I don't know what that means. Like, um, like... I don't know, like love languages. Like if I get mad or something, like you come and approach me or something. You no, know, like love languages. I guess uh, like something that make you like. I don't know. That makes you like love me more or something. I don't know. Maybe when she not yelling all the time at people. <laughs> I don't yell at people. And staying calm and you know. I be calm. Just chilling, being calm. Not starting. I feel stuff. like when he understands me and like he like pushes me to like overcome like those certain things that i'm going through like i feel like that makes me like you know I, I, that's like him showing his love language to me you know like he kind of not controls me but like he calms me in a way that other people probably can't you know so yeah i hope that answered your question if not then we're sorry because we don't know what, what the person meant okay next question what made savage stand out to you 
oh well how i said you know like he wasn't into gang banging he wasn't like into drugs um he was very respectful you know even when it came to like you know grabbing a hand or like kissing and stuff or touching like you know like he was not those guys you know so that's what made him stand out and he didn't like follow like nobody you know like there's guys out there that like to follow like other guys like no, he was like his own person so yeah yes, sir. can you talk about your parents relationship with savage how they met and do they like him um, they met so how he they met him was like i told him i um i had a friend and i'm I wanted him to come over and I wanted to talk to him and stuff like my parents already knew that like I liked I liked him or like I wanted to like you know get to know him better my mom wasn't okay she wasn't okay with him coming at first because she's like you're a girl you know like you can't be just having any random guy like come over like that makes you you know a hoe if your mom's Mexican like, you know Mexican moms are very strict and stuff and I told her like you know well how am I how am I gonna get to know him if you're not gonna give me the chance to like talk to him you know so eventually he came over um my mom was a little racist i'm not gonna lie because you know i never brought anybody else that like is like you know black or anything like that so you know but eventually she got over it she saw that you know he was different and he wasn't like you know those type of guys so she changed her ways and you know now she loves him like if i do anything she's like oh i'm gonna tell the or or like is Deontay hungry and like she's over here cooking up food for him and shit. Like I'm like, damn, you didn't cook food for me. Yeah. But yeah, she really loves him, you know, a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, next question. Did y'all think y'all would last when y'all first started talking? No, I did not. Did you thought we were gonna last when we first started talking? Uh yeah. No, I, I really thought we weren't, to be honest. Like, I just really thought we weren't going to click. Like, you know, like I had never talked to him or, like, dealt with, like, people, like, not like, like, all like him, you know? Like, I don't know, like, you know, I just really thought we weren't going to, like, be together for, like, a long time. So why you want to talk to me for? Huh? So why did you want to talk to me? At first, it was just a, to be honest, you know? Like, it was just, like like a whatever thing but you know eventually we started talking more and it became what like it is now so yeah uh gotcha 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 <laughs> how did you get savage to be so comfortable with your family what that's for you that's for you <laughs> wait question. let me read it again <laughs> wait what did that's i say her question she looking at me how did you get savage to be comfortable with your family well that was my question huh? <laughs> yes so basically like you know like i told my family like who he was and you know like i wanted him to be around you know it was like somebody i wanted to keep for like a long time so you know i would i wanted them to like make him comfortable and stuff and then i don't think they ever made him feel uncomfortable you know my family is very like caring and loving like you know they're always putting him first like you know and then like they put me like last and shit. But like, you know, like they're always offering him like food or like if we want to do things with them. And like, you know, they always include him and in everything, you know. So that's how I know like, you know, they like them and stuff and he doesn't feel comfortable. Well, I hope he doesn't. He doesn't feel comfortable? I mean, he feels comfortable. He feels comfortable. Right? He feels comfortable, yes. my bad. <clears throat> okay. Next question. Did y'all ever break up? Ooh, no. No. We don't do that stuff. Yeah, we don't here. do that. I don't even know what. Like, that's some kid stuff. Like, if you break up and you get back, like, you get starting from zero. Like, y'all already should don't come. I don't even know what the break is. Like, right. That's weird. All right. Next question. Do y'all moms like each other? Yes, they do. Yeah. My mom loves his mom. And... They were just over there for Christmas. Yeah, they were Christmas at our Eve. house. Christmas well, Eve. my house, not. Yeah. Next question. Are you close with Savage Family as he is with yours? Um. Well, no, because she doesn't, like, go over there that much. Well, with well, his her. mom, like, yeah, you know, like, we text and everything. And his sister's, like, you know, we we text here and there. Like, not all the time, but, like, you know, I always, like, check up on her, on his mom. And his mom checks up on me. 
but not not much with his dad you know because like they don't live together but you know i mean when i go over i talk to them you know so yeah i, I do with my dad you said we don't live together no like your mom and your dad don't live together oh, yeah, so that's yeah. why they're gonna be like how do you talk to your mom and your oh dad? yeah all right next question Mm, Savage, were there any times you were out with Sandy and you found another girl attractive? Who asked that question? I don't know. No? He's lying, guys. No, I didn't advice for her. Aw, that's so sweet. At the end <laughs> of the day, like, we've been together, like, four years and stuff, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, he could find a girl attractive. I'm not going to get mad, like, you know. It's not like she... He's gonna go home with her, or like she's gonna want him, you know. Like at the end of the day, yeah, take him home. But like, once you realize all his little like things, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, like here, here's your man back, you know. So yeah, like, like I'm pretty sure, like I interpret. I'm pretty sure anybody on this earth is gonna like find somebody attractive, you know. But it's like, you know, not saying that to the person or like right, lurking like, or disrespecting your partner. You right, know? like I'm not gonna be oh like like run up to him and like. Yeah, like no, or stare. At I'm pretty sure everybody thinks somebody out here is attractive. Or stare at them too hard, like no. Yeah, like that's just mad. Don't weird. do that. All right, next question. How did Savage's mom react when she found out about you? Oh, about Sandy. Sorry. Um, I think she was just like, oh, that's nice. Like she was happy, you know. My mom, she don't show like that much emotion. She just be chilling, you know. It was like my first girlfriend anyway, you know, that I even like tell my family yeah. about. So my first girlfriend and my mom even knew. So, you know, so yeah, she knew it was probably like something serious, you know? So yeah, she don't find no emotion. She just be like, you know, <laughs> just be nice and respect, you know? Shout out to my mom and his mom. You know? There's some real ones out here. All right, next question. How does Savage feel when the party goes Spanish and he doesn't understand anything? Well, I do understand. I mean, I'll, I'll be understanding what hey, they're saying Hey, he's now. bilingual now. Not everything, but you know, when you And always, if he doesn't understand, like, I translate. When you're always there, you know, you catch on and you, you know, you understand, you be understanding, like, what they're saying or the music and stuff. You know, I'll be dancing at the parties and stuff. Yeah. I'll be dancing. I'm going to put a little clip somewhere. They've seen the clips, you know, at the wedding <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, dancing, you know. Dancing at the parties, you know. Yeah, I don't be uncomfortable at all. all right. Unless, like, you know, it's like somebody new party we're going to but you know after a few beers i'd be cool <laughs> <laughs> all right next question what savage favorite mexican food tamales, tamales. he loves tamales you no know, it's birria that's it's like 50 it's 50 yeah, like, it's 50 50. he likes birria like in tamales it's 50 50 yeah birria so good you know it's bomb so let's good too he likes all that Mexican food, you know? Yeah, like I real, like all the black Me people food, you know, Mexican like cornbread, food. like yeah, Like yams. not burritos, just stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not real Mexican food. But you know. Oh yeah, Excuse what me. else? What else? Oh, mole too. Yeah, I like mole. Yeah, he likes yeah. all that stuff. You know? Yeah. So. The only thing I really don't like that her mom. Well, her mom even makes menudo, but that's a menudo. Like, if I can serve at the party, I would eat it. Or like, but you know, like they always have some, something else yeah. to go with it. Or anyway. they buy him like stuff, you know, if he doesn't like to eat yeah. it. Oh, and that spicy red chili meat. Oh, the little, like, if you're Mexican, you know the um, the liquid chili from Pozole? No. Be fire. Which one? The one we ate at Jorge was what it? Barbacoa? Barbacoa? I think so. If you guys have, like, you know, if you're Mexican, so you barbacoa. With the spiciness? Yeah. All right, next question. Well, last question. Last question. Do you guys check each other's phone? Check each other's phone? No, that's, like, so... Well, I don't. Sadie, you don't either. I don't. But that was, like, when we first probably started. Yeah, we probably, were, like, yeah. we were, like, low-key kind of toxic. You know? But, you know, we, we were, were in like, high school still. Yeah. Well, He was, was in high school. I mean, I was in high school and he was But we're the best. same age. We're the same age. Yeah. yeah. But, sh yeah, you know, who doesn't check their other person's phone, you know? Like, once they're beginning and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't care because, you know, let it in the heart. Yeah. But no. now, like, I be saying, like, you shouldn't check my phone anyway, though, to be honest now. Because, you know, if you're four years in. And you're still like, and you you're still know, checking the phone. Yeah. And you're still thinking they're doing something, you know, it's a problem then. You yeah. shouldn't like you should confront like, them. I took his phone and he told me like, oh like read what so and so said or like, you should confront them about the yeah. situation, you know? Yeah. But yeah, no, we don't check phones. No more. No, we don't do that. Yeah. But yeah, guys. 
I hope you guys are having a great time. Got you know, it's um, New Year's Eve. New Year's. You know, celebrate. comment down below what you guys are doing or, you know, what you guys have going Ce on. Celebrate, you know, be safe. You know, if y'all don't have to go out, stay in the house, you know, invite family over. Well, y'all gonna be saying this house already too late, but you know, hopefully y'all stay safe, have a good holiday. Right. Start the New Year's off good. Drink it know. up. Drink it up in the house. Be safe. Be safe. You know. Stop being toxic to all my toxic people out there. And many blessings in the future, you know. Right. Blessings coming to your your guys' way. Big 2024. All right. Peace. We'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, the video is 20 minutes straight. <laughs> Peace. Peace.